Donald Trump says if Joe Biden wins, there will be no God. I have a suspicion that this is uh, not the right, not what he meant, but it's funny, okay? And I'm going to pretend that that's what he said because it's kind of funny. So Donald Trump said, if Joe Biden wins, there will be no God. Again, I think it's kind of cute and funny to make fun to like, I don't know, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he meant, because, okay, Trump is a moron. He doesn't know how to speak. And sometimes he says something that it does, he didn't mean. And I think it's for us, for comedic reasons, it's fun to pretend that he actually said that and just, you know, joke about it. So we could do that, right? But then let's also see what he actually meant. But let me actually let, we could listen we could hear what he actually said uh, and judge it judge what he what I think he actually meant okay so the article says during his ri- his rally tonight in North Carolina Donald Trump claimed that a Joe Biden victory this November means there will be no God ACS our time has finally arrived okay yeah this is the joke uh, this is the obvious joke guys obviously. The joke here is that, well, if this is going to end God, go vote Biden because finally, finally, with this, we'll get rid of God completely. Okay, that's the joke. It's an obvious joke to make, but let's see what he actually said. Uh, let me know if you can hear this. 13 members of Biden's staff donated to the same fund. Look, that's where they're coming from. Just, you know, he's trying to go a little bit more right, like the fracking. Oh, well, of course, we're going to have. But, but, Six months, he's saying there'll be no fracking, which I don't think the people in Pennsylvania are thrilled with, considering that your taxes could quadruple. I, I tell it all the time, Texas, right? Texas, they like oil. They like guns, right, in Texas, right? And they like God. So he comes out with a platform. No oil. We don't want oil. This is during the Democrat deal. There'll be no oil. There'll be no God. There'll be no guns. This is not a good campaign. There will be no oil. There will be no guard. There will be no guns. Hey, guys, vote Biden. <laughs> this is, okay, there will be no oil. There will be no guard. There will be no guns. Hmm. Yeah, vote Biden. There will be no guard. That's, that's, don't threaten me with a good time, Trump. Okay, so first, so, yeah. I mean, okay, so he doesn't mean, again, he's an idiot. He doesn't know how to speak. Again, um, I know sometimes I, by the way, mess up as well. But I, I, my excuse is my English is my second language, right? But he doesn't mean God will end. He probably will say there will be no God in schools, in the government, in public spaces. Like there will, people will not be able to bring God. Blah blah blah. Because you could, you could point out like, how could he say that? Don't Christians believe that God is everywhere? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he he means that there will be no mention of God, okay? I mean, but again, if that is the threat, I mean, it would be no mention of God in government and in public schools. I think that's true. No, I mean, it, there would be, unfortunately, Biden. Unfortunately, this is not what's going to happen if Biden wins, okay? It's not going to happen, but it will happen less. Like, there will be less God than when Trump is president. So that's a great thing. Guys, again, as may, as I don't care how much problems we have with Biden, right? If you guys are secularists and given what has been happening with your Supreme Court, right? You guys have you, all the people that have said, like, Ah, oh, Hillary Clinton, lesser of two evils. I'm not gonna vote for a lesser of two evil. You like how? Do you like your Supreme Court right now? Do you guys like religion so much in your government right now? Are you enjoying that? Are you enjoying all the Jill Stein people? Huh? Huh? Do you do you like it? Ha huh, huh? Are you are you here yet? Do you still think you shouldn't have voted for Harry? Oh, yeah, her emails. Oh, they're just as bad. Just as bad. Look at your Supreme Court right now. Look at your Supreme Court. See? This is why you go and you shut the hell up about whatever problems Biden has. Right? And you go vote Biden because there will be no God. Okay? 
there will be no God. Again, this is supposed to be a threat, but just see this as a goddamn motivation, please. Um, so, again, it's not going to be what he says. Like, there will still be God, unfortunately, in school, in government, in many other places. But I think the actual, the accurate term would be there will be less God. There will be less God than a Trump administration. And that should be motivation uh, enough. There will be less God in your Supreme Court telling you what women and what gay people should, what women should do with their body and what if gay people deserve to have equal rights or not. There will be less God everywhere. Okay. Uh, that's not, that's not by the platform. And those are barely coherent thoughts. Yeah. No, no, no shit. At least with regards to religion, Biden is a devout Catholic who goes to church on weekends. Unlike some presidents, also unlike Trump, um, Biden doesn't need to tear gas people for a photo op outside a church. Uh, but the idea that there will be no God under a Biden administration makes no sense whatsoever, even if that's supposed to be a metaphorical, which it's totally not. Somehow God survived eight years under the Obama era. I'm sure God will get through a Biden administration as well. Hey, this is funny. I like this. And uh, There's nothing about Biden's platform that suggests religion would suffer in any way. Hmm. I disagree with this. I disagree with this. I think Christianity flourishes a lot more under Trump's administration. I mean, come on, we've seen the Supreme Court and everything like that. So I disagree with this. Conservative Christians won't get the theocracy they dream about, but religious freedom will be protected. Religious freedom will be protected, but other people's freedom will not be protected. There are many other freedoms will go away due to Christianity under a Trump administration. So a lot of conservative Christians will get what they want. Again, guys, vote Biden. You guys, if you guys, if you, if you Americans get Trump in office again, you guys, come on. Like, I think you guys need to be embarrassed. You or these, you should be embarrassed for the four years already, okay? Like, you guys should be embarrassed. If you're not embarrassed, you should be embarrassed that you're not embarrassed. Um, what does it say about the shallow faith of Trump and his fellow Christians, though, if their God can be defeated, destroyed even by a centrist Democrat? How weak is their savior? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's funny, and it's fair to make a joke like that. But again, Christians would say, like, no, you don't understand Christianity. We're always the victims. We're always the oppressed. Uh, just because people are doing us wrong and shutting and putting God, you know, moving God out of places. And, you know, just because we're small and we're being uh, oppressed, that doesn't mean that God is, uh, you know, being defeated, this is your lack of understanding of Christianity, blah, 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 blah. Even though that's all the, you know, stuff that they would say, this is still fun to make fun of, okay? Uh, it's not the first time Trump has said something like this. Just last month, he claimed that Biden victory would lead to no religion, no anything, hurt the Bible, hurt God, he's against God, unquote. Yeah, I mean, again, the, you can't just... You, can't, you know, you can't get, you can't make sense of anything Trump says. Like you have, I mean, if he says there will be no God, and if that's actually what he meant, then he also says there will be no anything. How could there be no anything, Trump? He was like, oh, a Biden victory means there will be no anything. So basically, if we want to take Trump's words literally, I mean, you shouldn't take his words literally or figuratively. He just doesn't make any sense. But if he did want it to make his words literally, then the Biden, <laughs> a Biden presidency means there will be no anything. So the fabric of the universe would just collapse on its own and the nature of reality would just stop. Existence would just stop. There would be no anything. Okay. Like again, he would be, he's, if you wanted to, like, if he was, so he says he would hurt God, right? 
again, you can say, like, how could you hurt God? God is blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But you can say, like, well, God, he means you would anger God. You know, that's what, that's just Trump. Christians would defend Trump. You know, I listen to their bull crap all the time. Like, that's just Trump being Trump. You guys know what he means, but you're pretending like he doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if he, if, if, if he can't talk, then maybe he shouldn't be a president, okay? If he cannot talk, if he cannot communicate his ideas, I mean, if he needs you guys to come and re like explain everything he says, then maybe he shouldn't be, if he can't communicate. I mean, God damn it, man. Hurt, like, look at this. Who talks like this? No religion, no anything. Hurt the Bible, hurt God. He's against God. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did this guy go into yeah, this is nothing more than a pathetic attempt by Trump to spread fear among uh, his gullible white evangelical base. I mean, it's not really that pathetic if it's working. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I mean, he's free. Like, let's I, let's give credit to Trump. He knows his base. He knows his base, and it works. It works. As stupid as he stands, everything he does works, right? So it is an attempt by Trump to spread fear among his gullible white evangelical base. I agree with that. But it's not a pathetic one. It's one that is working very, you know, effectively. Uh, they routinely fall for his bullsh bulls crap. Again, YouTube, I'm not... YouTube, I'm not swearing. Please, please, please do not deprioritize these videos. See, I'm being a good boy. I said bull crap instead of BS, right? Um, fall for his bull crap, and Trump knows he can't win a re-election without their continued support, so he tells them exactly what he thinks they want to hear. Never considering never in considering if it's logical. I mean, why should he consider if it's logical if his base is as dumb as a rock? Right? I mean, sorry, Trump supporters in the live chat. Sorry, 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 sorry. But, you know, you know, a lot of you are like that. Okay? Thank you for staying, even though I keep dumping on your ideas, which deserve it, to be honest. Uh, pretend, <laughs> pretending that the dem pretending that the uh, Democrats hate God is the uh, the reddest of red meat. I wish the Democrats hated God. Unfortunately, most of them don't. I wish it was the case. I wish it was the case. It's honestly more of a self own. What's the message anyway? Is, is Biden so weak that he can't get anything done? Or is Biden so powerful that he can destroy God? Pick one. It can't be both. Okay, okay. Let's steal on the other side. The argument, the other side is like, yeah, no, Biden is weak. His administration, though, is not going to be weak. The people around him, they've, they're going to say the far leftist, anti-God, Satanist, child, blood-drinking, you know, genocide, fetus killing uh, people that he's going to surround himself by, they're not going to be weak. But because Biden is so weak, they're going to let he's going to let those people do all of these things. Right. So, again, this is not a gotcha against that. Those people again. The, I think that it's not a contradiction from their part to say Biden is weak and also God. Uh, Christianity is under will be under attack if Biden wins. And where are the evangelical leaders willing to stand up and say Trump is wrong? My God is more powerful than any politician. Don't hold your breath. Well, I mean, they say Jesus was hurt. Jesus got sad. Jesus got angry. Jesus. Um, so you can't get hurt as a God. Apparently, their God is capable of getting hurt. I mean, he got tortured. Their God was tortured. How could you get tortured? On a cross, if you don't, if you can't get hurt, so maybe they will say that no, nope, it's not a contradiction. God gets angry, God gets sad, God gets hurt. So maybe they will say that's what you know. So maybe they say it's not a contradiction, right? I don't need more reasons to vote for Biden, but damn, even Trump, Trump's lives make me want to fill out my ballot immediately. Yeah, guys, do it. Do it, save your country, but also save the goddamn planet. Vote Biden. 
many of you won't though. So that is scary. You guys actually might get this guy re-elected. Hey, silver lining. We have more things to fun make fun of if he gets very, 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 very small silver lining is that we get four more years of comedy. Uh, Andrew is here. Is this the actual top comment? Oh, nope. See, I have to scroll down again. Facebook being stupid. To, for me, I have to t- scroll all the way down here to get the top comment. Sam saying, if Trump wants me to not vote for Biden, he needs to stop making him sound so awesome. Yeah, the obvious jokes are there. All the obvious jokes are here. So Joe Biden is more powerful than God. Either that is a pathetic God or Biden is clearly a superior being and America needs him now. Yeah, maybe maybe don't just vote for Biden. Maybe pray to Biden if he can defeat God. Again, I know, I know the comebacks. It's just fun. It's just fun. Let us have our fun. Let me see what you guys are saying in the live chat. Guys, if you guys want me to le- read the live chat, you have to say the things that you want me to read exactly when I stop reading the article. Let me actually bring the this article back up. Hmm. It's really hard to do this by myself and also... Oh, there we go. Thank you, guys. See, AJ like, tags Atheist Republic so I could find it like this, okay? AJ is saying the sad part of Trump being elected is the pandering others would uh, other world leaders do to support him. See, guys, make sure if you want me to see your comments. Um, yes, thank you, AJ. Is also telling you everybody. And also, guys, there's a delay. So if I move to the other next news, and you guys are like, hey, I just posted a comment. Why did you move to the next news without reading my comment? Just know that there's a delay between the time that you post a comment and the time that I get a comment. Okay. All right. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you we think is no. And oh look, oh they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like. No, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. (laughs) But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 